ma, la la ma, la la <laughs>here with a another video to talk about our financial journey as two young adults to marry young adults with all kind of life's responsibilities that I'm they, young you I hate you we are currently twenty eight thousand dollars yeah. in debt my name is Shantae and I am the mother of the three beautiful Pompon sisters and I'm Christian, Daddy Pompon, the father <laughs> of the beautiful Pompon sisters. We've years. been together 10 years and we have been married for seven. Uh, we got married very young and had kids very young, so a lot of our life experiences are... We've grown a lot together. We've grown a lot together. A lot. Uh, yes. We have gone through every trial and tribulation together as a couple. Um, seems like it's been forever, Jesus Christ. And still got forever to go. Still got forever to go. <laughs> so we're not saying we're $28,000 in debt and not struggling. we're not struggling. We are very comfortable. The bills that we have, we are able to pay, but we aren't good in the savings department. We spend more than we should. Yes, yeah. I can agree. The first thing we're gonna talk about is our lack of financial literacy. Unfortunately, we were not taught how to save and what to expect when it comes to making big purchases like uh, buying a house, buying a car. So a lot of things we've had to learn and unfortunately we learned after we had already made our purchases. Yeah. Our first big purchase together as a couple was our... Our car. Yes, our car. Yes. We just had our first baby, um, Kalia. And uh, at the time I was driving a Crown Vic. Terrible car. It was it was nice. He he wanted to suit it out to be what fucking Capri Sun. <laughs> it was Capri Sun, wasn't it? Everybody at the time was doing They're like uh, Skittles. And was doing um, uh, what was it called? They had Fruit Loops. There was a Fruit Loops. Did we have a Yoo Hoo? Yoo -hoo. Yes, it was a Yoo Hoo car. They used to drive around here a With lot. Labels and supposedly they were getting paid. paid so it was just yeah. a thing that I was trying to do to possibly get paid driving my car. I'm pretty sure you probably spent more money than you would have gotten paid for the sponsorship. Like, <laughs> it was ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> I traded it in. <laughs> and we were at the dealership going in there blind and I know we look like fresh prey for oh, yeah. all them salesmen. Very. We ended up getting a 2012 Hyundai Sonata. Ended up upside down on it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We had young credit. No, no credit. Yeah. Yes, so it wasn't bad. It, it wasn't was just, bad. It wasn't established. <laughs> Not established. And yeah. we bought our family vehicle together. We had our first little girl, and we wanted to make sure we had reliable transportation yeah. for her. Yeah, that that vehicle wasn't reliable. Not reliable at I all. I was uh, driving like an idiot. <laughs> more gas efficient, big enough for all three of us, and something we can grow into. Yes, and we have now grown out of it <laughs> we bought our car blindsided we were not knowledgeable on anything any of the terminology that they threw at us we had no clue all we knew is we needed a car and we had to do what we had to do our next big purchase was our house which we bought back in 2017 we were expecting our third child and we were living in a two-bedroom apartment we uh, had no money saved going into the purchase of our home which was a big no-no for yeah. us but again life and we had to make ends meet and I was not going to be raising three children in a two-bedroom apartment I was very adamant about that yeah. very and then I was pregnant so you know just don't argue with the pregnant lady <laughs> <laughs> our loan officer for our mortgage, she was like super nice, which I mean, they're making money yeah, off of they're us. They're making money. So, they I mean, cool. she, she was cool though. She really did explain everything into detail. If we had questions, she was willing to answer them with honesty. At least we felt she was honest. Of course, we went into that blindly as well. Didn't know 
half the terminology for that. When we sat down and signed that contract, we had no clue. Yeah. What do I say? What? Right. That's pretty much where we were. It was like, oh, okay. So we sign here. <laughs> it's going to be how much a month? <laughs> That's all we need to know is how much it's going to be a month, when we need to pay it, and who we paying it to. Fortunately, we had to choose space over um, quality for our house. Not saying our house is like ran down or raggedy, but we knew buying it that we were going to have to make some big renovations yeah. to it. Um, Especially on these older houses. Yes, it is an older house, at least 30 years old. We knew a lot of replacement and fixing and investing into our home was going to come down the road, which also led to more loans and yeah. more credit cards. We moved into the house and roofs started to leak and the AC wanted to AC go out. out. Cold winter. Cold. Very cold winter. Again, another quick buy, another look, we just got to get this done for our family or, you know, what yeah. we thought we needed to have for our family. Trying to live the American dream. We've built a lot of memories in this house so far. Short two years. Short two years. And it feels like it's been longer. Like, Jesus. Like, we had a baby and now she's walking and running around this damn thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> Running it. <laughs> running it. She, running this is her house. This is her. <laughs> that was another lack of financial literacy. I mean, we didn't have parents who were financially financially literate and were unfortunately, they couldn't teach us. Um, yeah. So a lot of stuff we had to just learn. And trial and error. Trial and error. Like, story of our life is trial and error. I another see. factor that added to our... $28,000 in debt was our frivolous spending. As credit cards, <laughs> I love me some credit cards. <laughs> and that is another learned behavior on my behalf. My mother has probably every store department credit card known to man. And I thought that was normal to have, you know, you walk in the store, you want to buy something to apply for the credit card, you know? And then you have Christian who... I have two. <laughs> So you're just gonna put me on blast? <laughs> I only have two, so y'all know who's twenty-eight thousand dollars this is. <laughs> so, I definitely have my fair share of credit cards. I will not lie. Um, as long as they keep hitting that approval button, I will continue to apply for them. I, I don't even know how many. I'm not even gonna say how many I have because he'll just sit over there. I and... have two. She has too many. <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> oh, apply for this. It's only at 30% interest. Sign me up for it. <laughs> oh, you need my social? You need fingerprint DNA too? I'll give you all of that. Another big factor is eating out. Yes, a lot of eating. It's expensive. It is, it is expensive. And, and it's- And we tip well too, so. We do, we do tip well, so if you see us, don't be like, mm, they ain't gonna tip. Now we tip very well. We um, definitely do a lot of eating out, unnecessary eating out because we know how to cook. Yeah. And we have a kitchen that we've recently renovated, yep. which adds to that $28,000. <laughs> it's uh, just so convenient. It is. It's so easy. Exactly, this is right up the street. Right up the street. Like Little legit, dangles. we can walk to it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say I want to do a bologna sandwich diet, but we probably should go on a bologna sandwich diet. Yeah. We're, we're not, though. No. No. <laughs> he came across David Ramsey, watched a little 15 minute video. Yeah, and, um, the David Ramsey um, Seven Baby Steps. Seven Baby Steps, yes. And so it's a way to become debt free. I first brought the idea to her, it was brought on to me. Somebody showed me the video, um, helped me help uh, explain each step while we were listening to it. And it made a lot of sense. Not only did I have Dave Ramsey explaining it, I had somebody else to pause it after each step and explain, go into better detail. I was able to bring it to her attention. And of course, when he brings it to my attention, it's not as juicy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not this beautiful steak that he was served. I get it, and it's a half-eaten burger. 
All I was saying was just watch the video. No, 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 no. He comes to me and is, oh my God, we can become debt free. Which of course I'm gonna shoot down because I don't know anybody who's debt free. I'm like debt free is just something I didn't think working American people could obtain. Like. I just figured everyone's in debt because everyone I know is in debt and it's just a part of life. To, it's, a, it's, it's a mindset. It, it, it definitely is a mindset. I will agree. Um, so I already was kind of like shut off by that. He leaves with, oh, we can become debt free. And um, then he starts explaining that, yeah, we can save $6,000 and pay off the house. And I'm just looking at him like, yeah, that ain't, that ain't happening. Not in our lifetime. Like, I don't know what jobs and what money and bank account that you see, but that ain't happening for us. He nagged me for about, what, two weeks? Yeah. For me to finally give in and watch the David Ramsey video. And it seemed like it could be obtainable. It seemed like, you know, the steps were simple. And, like, I, of course, it's a long-term goal. It's definitely... Yeah, it's not going to happen overnight. Definitely not going to happen overnight. First baby step is to save a thousand dollars. Save a thousand dollars, whether so. it's in your mattress, in the bank account, in the little water jug in the kitchen that your grandma collects mm -hmm. all the pennies yeah. in. <laughs> whatever. Just, Just save a thousand dollars. So that is our current step right now. That is what we're working towards, and he tells us to save a thousand dollars as fast as you can. Yes. Step number two is to. Uh, Pay off our twenty-eight thousand dollars yes. of debts so, by doing the snowball effect. The snowball effect, basically, is listing all your all your debt that's from highest to lowest. Though, pay off the smallest one first. On the lowest amount is what you're just basically focusing on. Focusing on, yeah. yeah. So all that focus on that one. Once that's paid off, the money carried over from that, you're focusing on the next one. And once you get rid of that, it starts to build, yes. get bigger, just like the snowball effect. And you will begin to pay it off. So by the time we get to our highest credit card or loan, we'll probably be putting anywhere to you'll be able to just take chunks, chunks off of it. Yeah. And Lord, that will look so beautiful. We right now spend eight hundred, almost nine. Oh yeah, almost nine hundred dollars a month paying off credit cards and that's just like bare minimum not putting anything extra uh, baby step number three um is to save up an emergency fund which like i've never heard of an emergency fund um it's very important it is it is very important and i thought that step was absolutely ridiculous i'm not even gonna lie i thought that was a very like an emergency fund like what what for that's and what credit cards are for. Yeah. <laughs> that was exactly my response. That's what we have credit cards and we finance and have loans for. Um, which is terrible, terrible thinking. So I'm I'm not gonna say that I sat here with open arms and, and was welcoming on this idea. I definitely was not. I was completely against this because I had already set my mind to it's okay to have credit cards, it's okay to be in debt, it's okay to have to finance. Like, I mean it is okay. But not to the point where majority of our check is yes. going towards yeah. credit cards. Oh, back to the emergency fund, saving up to three to six months in household expenses. That includes your mortgage, your light bill, water bill, grocery. For us, three months worth of emergency fund after we've paid off all our debt. Because by the time we get to step number three, everything should be paid mm -hmm. off. That is at least $6,000. It's very attainable once once number two is done. <laughs> Step four is to put 15% of your earnings into a 401 or a Roth IRA. Which I, I don't know what the difference is. Of course, I will educate myself more on it. I don't know too much about it either. <laughs> <laughs> what I've read from the little bit is that the 401k... Um, taxes you a lot once you pull all that money out and the Roth IRA is tax-free. Tax Step number five is college fund. Yep. We have three beautiful girls, 
smart, brilliant girls that I'm pretty sure are going to want to further their education in whatever field they do. Yeah. We want to be able to send them to school. I mean, I'm not against scholarships either, but without them having student loans, because that's something that we are currently battling right now yeah. is our parents weren't, you know, financially prepared to send us college. Step number six is to pay off Pay off our home. Pay off our home. That would be a glorious day. That would be Pay great. Glorious day. Especially since we just Paid signed off a 30 year. Early. Yes. Yeah, way early. Way early. 30 years is too long. Too long. I'll be 55. Yeah. Paying a house. That's too far. Way too far. If you, if you go through the whole 30 years of your um, mortgage, yes, your mortgage, you're paying a ridiculous amount for that house. So, very last step, step number seven, is to build your wealth. Because at this point, you, you ain't got no bills yeah. other than your your lights and utilities. And utilities is all you. Can you imagine only paying utilities? That would be nice. That would be nice. Like, I might stop working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop working too. No, I don't know about that now. <laughs> One of our New Year's resolutions was to travel more and spend yes. more time with each other. But now I have money to, you know, be able to just go wherever we please. Um, and then take our girls to go see the world. Well, like, thank you for joining us on our first journey or our first step to our financial freedom, our debt-free journey. If you guys have any, um, I guess, tips, um, any financial books that you would suggest reading, that would be nice. So we we are open to those. So yes, of course, as always, there's always more to come. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Come on and join that pom pom game. Join the pom pom parentals. Yeah. Um, and of course, to check out our beautiful girls, the pom pom sisters. So we will see y'all on our next video. Thank you for watching. Click that like button if you like the video. And of course, in the comment section, leave us any suggestions as far as books, tips. Uh, questions where we're all ears and we're open